Hi, I'm Bob from Plastic Pipe Shop and in this video we're going to have a quick look at the different types of double union non-return valves. Now a non-return valve is designed to allow the water to flow one way but to stop it coming back the other way. So they're often used after pumps or in between tanks where the water is flowing from one to another uh, to stop any water, any water flowing back. The two different types of non-return valves I've got here, um, they're both double union non-return valves which means you can unscrew the valve and you can take the valve body out and then you can clean it if necessary or unblock it if it gets blocked and you can put it back into service again. The difference between these two is that one has a spring in and one doesn't. So I'll show you the one that has a spring in. If you can see inside this one as I push from the other end the spring inside contracts and expands. It's quite a hard push. I'll try and let go of it so you can hear how hard it is. So it's quite a hard, quite a hard spring on there. The other one, the non-sprung one, doesn't have any spring inside it at all. It's purely one that moves up and down with the flow of the water. So it doesn't return automatically whether there's no pressure there or not. So the advantages of having a non-return valve with a spring is that in very low head situations it's always going to be closed. There's never going to be any leakage back at all, not even the tiniest amount, because as soon as the pressure is greater on one side than the other, the spring will make sure it's shut. The disadvantage of ones with springs is that in low head situations where there's a low head pump or you've got two tanks, one, one which is feeding the other, is it actually takes quite a bit of pressure to push against the spring and open the valve in the first place. Spring ones, however, can be positioned vertically, horizontally, or even upside down, and they'll operate the same and work properly and work the same in any configuration. Valves without the spring should really be mounted vertically. Because there's hardly any pressure needed to open the valve at all, they can be used in very low in very low head situations, especially on situations such as ponds or in aquaculture when we are running with low heads. The valve, as I said, ought to be mounted vertically. If there's more than about 0.1 bar or 0.2 bar of pressure, it can be mounted horizontally as well. And there'll be enough water pressure on this side to shut the valve. You may get a slight bit of leakage just before, just before the valve shuts, but it'll only be minimal. One of the other differences between the non-sprung and the sprung non-return valves is that if your water isn't filtered and you may have bits of grass or plastic or anything in your water which could potentially foul any items, the sprung non-return valve is much more likely to get fouled because the water has to pass not only past the cone shape inside but also around and through the spring and the spring is more likely to get fouled so there's a better chance of it getting fouled. Just one last thing to say about non-return valves like this is that if you're using it in a suction situation, for example on the suction to some pumps, you should always use the non-sprung version because the sprung version will severely limit the uh, ability of the pump to draw water up. So you should always use the non-sprung version and mount it vertically in a suction situation. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.